Yo, soldiers, what is up? It is YB, and we are back with another episode of Feed Your Mind, episodes designed to remind you of the goodness of God. Now, today, I want to talk about the next level. What does that look like? I believe this time is breeding ground for the next level. For, for God's children, I believe this crazy, turbulent time is a breeding ground for us to go to the next level. Now, why am I making this such a big deal? Because it might not look like your next level. Let me say that again. I make this a very big deal because God is going to set you up for an opportunity. But in the midst of that opportunity, it will not look like you are about to advance to your next level. So when I first started music full time in 2017, I walked away from everything that I knew to be safe. What do I mean by that? I walked away from my job, which means I was getting paid a salary. Um, I walked away from all of my friends. I walked away from my hometown in Florida. I walked away from everything I knew to be safe. And God called me to this. This is when he called us to Sarasota, Florida. It was everything new. I wasn't making any money. So as a husband, I felt pressure. Um, my daughter was just turning like one and a half. So I was becoming a full time dad. Like I was staying home watching my daughter. I wasn't prepared for that. Like it was so much pressure. And I was in the midst of creating an album. And I, I, I cannot lie to you guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I felt defeated. I spent the very first month of that entire journey depressed, overthinking, overwhelmed, super stretched. But as I look back, that was step one to my next level. That very difficult season was step one for my next level. When I look back, that season gave us fire emoji. If any of you guys follow my music journey, you would know that fire emoji is our biggest song out yet. That season helped me grow as a father. Now my wife can go work, which she does. She goes to work and I'm able to feed my daughter on a, on a schedule. I'm changing diapers. I'm preparing bottles. I love that because God used that season to stretch me as a father. Here's what I'm saying. You are stepping into an opportunity that will not look like an opportunity, but I need you to look to God. You have to look to God in these times because you may miss the opportunity God is going to set you up to take you to the next level because it will not look like it. If you would have told me when I was in that season, hey man, the song that you're writing in your daughter's room right now, I wrote fire emoji in my daughter's room. If somebody would have told me the song that you are writing right now is going to be on radios, it's going to go crazy on Spotify, it's going to introduce a whole lot of non-believers to, to Jesus, I would have told you, Bro, uh, you're crazy. I like writing music, so I'm gonna keep writing the music, but I don't believe all of that's gonna happen. In that season, we, me and my team went on three independent tours on our own. Like we did the booking, we did the routing, but had you told me that in that season, I wouldn't have believed you. But what did it take? It took me going and sitting at the feet of Jesus. It took me waking up at five in the morning and getting in my Bible. And, and asking God, like just going, like God, let me be in your presence. It took me to do all of that. Why are those things important? Those things are important because of this. You will not be able to see the opportunity if you do not look at things from God's perspective. I'll say that again. You will not be able to see the opportunity if you do not tap into God's perspective. So how do we tap into God's perspective? by sitting at the feet of Jesus, by getting into his word, by truly seeking him in prayer. See, people always judge people that give all the time. Like, man, oh, you're not thinking or you're not being a good steward. But I guarantee you this, you will never see a person who gives in need. You will never see a person who constantly gives in need. Why? Because they see things from God's perspective. Now, granted, when you give, be wise, but they understand this. I cannot outgive God. They understand that principle. A person who gives will never be in need. So that's how you will be able to see your next level is by getting with God and seeing things from his perspective. Sometimes the setback is actually a setup. Sometimes the defeat is, is a season where God's saying, hey, I'm going to take you and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stretch you. But this season is going to be really tough for you. But I need you to learn patience. 
God says, hey, I'm going to take you back. I'm going to sit you down for a little bit, but I need you to understand my timing. Hey, everything around you is about to crash, but do not worry. I need you to put your faith in me because I'm going to put you in some rooms that if you don't walk in that room with faith in me, you're going to leave defeated. But you have to understand, wait, God is my author. So if God is arranging my seasons, let me be calm when the seas go crazy. If God is arranging my seasons, let me not overthink when God is stretching my abilities. But you have to look at things from God's perspective. And you do that by seeking God, by getting into his word and praying. God, everything around me seems chaotic. God, what are you showing me? And I guarantee you, God will show you. God, I'm losing friends. God, what are you trying to tell me right now? God is saying, look, your friends have become idols. Your friends, your your community around you have actually pulled you away from me. And I'm separating all of those things to bring you closer to me because I want to take you to the next level. But in order for you to see that opportunity, you have to be in tune with God. Soldiers, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Feed Your Mind. Episodes designed to remind you of the goodness of God. Soldiers, I love you. I'm praying for your next level. I'm believing God is setting you up for a new level. But you got to seek him. Soldiers, I'll see you on the next episode.